Hey, it's Kathleen Gage with Power Up for Profits, and I have three tips for getting the most out of podcast opportunities. If you're an author and you're looking for great ways to market your books, podcast interviews are the best way to do it. Now, I'm not talking about you starting a podcast show. I'm talking about you being on a podcast show, you being a featured expert on various podcast shows. Because some podcast shows, they have hundreds of downloads, others have thousands, others have hundreds of thousands, even millions. And so if you put enough um, effort into finding podcast opportunities, you likely will be able to get a lot of traction for your book or books. The first thing that you want to do is you want to really look at the shows that are a good match for what you do. You don't want to just throw a whole bunch of mud at the wall and hope something sticks. You really want to get clear on who's the audience, what's the main theme of the show, and are you a match for that particular show. The more specific you are, the better off you're going to be. The higher your acceptance rate will be. And what I mean by that is you do your research. And then you do outreach to the show host. And if you are a match for that show, there's a much better chance that they're going to say yes than if there's no match whatsoever. So do your research. Be really clear on the type of shows that you're a good fit for. Not necessarily the shows you want to be on because, yeah, we'd love to be on these huge, huge, huge shows. But if they're not a fit, the host is going to think it's a waste of their time. So Make sure that you do your research as far as who's the audience and why would you be a good fit for the audience. The next thing is reach out to the host. And when you reach out to the host, don't overwhelm them with a whole bunch of information and send them every bit of marketing material that you have, a PDF of your book and this, that, and the other. Find out if they're even interested. Oftentimes, I get a much better response when I send out a very short message saying, uh, I'm Kathleen Gage, I'm representing such and such, uh, whomever the expert may be. I get hired to do that kind of stuff. And after researching your show, we feel like this person would be a great fit because. So you have to have a point of reference. Once they accept you, you need to be really organized in how you get your information to them. And the best way to do that is to have a media page on your website that has your expert one sheet, it has your questions, it has your bio, it has links to other shows you've been on. The more you can give them social proof that you're a low risk, the better off you're going to be. Now, once you do the show interview and you get the permalink to the show, and the permalink is the link that goes directly to your episode, then what you want to do is you want to give it some social media love. You want to uh, send a link to your subscribers. You want to upload it on your media page. You want to do everything you can to get as much traction as possible. I have one client who actually she managed to make about $8,000 as a result of back-end business without even trying, but back-end business as a result of one show that she was on. She does high-end retreats and she got some response to something she, she said. People went to her website, they contacted her, and she made about $8,000 from one show. Now, will you make $8,000 from one show? Can't guarantee it. What I can guarantee, though, is the more effort you put into what you're doing, the better off you're going to be. You look at authors like Hal Elrod, Lisa Nichols, Tony Robbins, uh, Jack Canfield. You look at big name authors. And you will find that most of them have used podcast interviews as a way to gain a lot of traction in their marketplace. Now, imagine if you were to get one interview per day by the end of a year. If you only did it Monday through Friday, by the end of the year, that's over 200 interviews. Do you think that things would dramatically change in your business if you were on 200 podcast shows? I can tell you it would. And I actually have a program called the 100 Club. I'll put the link below. All you need to do is click the link. And if we're offering it at the time that you watch this video and we have space available, we'd love to have you. We only take 12 people at a time in this program. It's a very, very hands-on, very high activity uh, accountability program for people who want to get lots of podcast opportunities. We've had some amazing breakthroughs. We've had some great results. 
with the people that have taken the action. This is Kathleen Gage with Power Up for Profits encouraging you go out, look for opportunities that will put you in front of the right people at the right time with the right message. Have a great day.